Now, a telltale sign of living in an oppressed regime is a silence or state-controlled media. And this is very true in Zimbabwe. And to be fair, even in South Africa. I mean, I'm talking about the SFC. Um, But you know things are extra bad when senior editors are being suspended for writing about Zimbabwe's economy dying. Okay, Zimbabwe, here's the thing. The cat has been out the bag for a while regarding your economy dying. In fact, the cat has left the bag, had a long life, now has kittens, and they also live in the bag. Now you would think things are really bad, but no, it gets worse. It gets really worse. Itai Zamara, an opposition activist who is notoriously vocal against Robert Mugabe and Zanu Pihaf, has gone missing. You need to be seriously a brave man to take up a top media job in Zimbabwe. Personally, I think they could use a certain Tawudi. I, on second thought, on second thought, the fake qualification thing wouldn't really fly over there. Those people take their education very seriously. So in solidarity with Itai Zamara and media freedom as a whole, we've decided to collaborate with some satirists in Zimbabwe. I mean, bringing the borders together and just making one juicy thing.